What's up, Frenzy Head Nation? We're back. Finally got all technical difficulties and the bugs worked out. However, the one downside to all this is I am uh, flying solo tonight. It kind of almost feels like I'm in a closet or something, but I'm not. The closet's beside me. Um, so anyway, first of all, I just want to apologize for <sighs> all the technical difficulties we had last week, not allowing me to be able to film a show, um, and no recap show. It was crazy. I'm glad to have that man that's behind me. It's good to be back. I'm glad uh, we could uh, get all the bugs worked out. And we're back live this week. So uh, I think what we'll do here is um, jump right into our picks. Um, as you can see, Ike's not with me tonight, but uh, I do have some good news about Ike. Um, he found out as of yesterday that he was accepted at the University of Toledo. So he is officially in a Toledo rocket now. Um, so congratulations to Isaac, and uh, we hope to have him back with us here real soon. Um Got off the phone just a little bit ago with Brother Rose, and I've got his picks right here in front of me as well. So I think what we're going to do is we will jump into our picks. Uh, we're going to start off with some high school football tonight. We have Ypsilanti Lincoln. Four wins, two losses, traveling to Adrian, who has two wins and four. Four losses. Um, Rose went with Ypsilanti Lincoln as his winner. Man, I know my Adrian audience is going to go hard on me. They're not going to like me for this. I'm sorry. I have to go Ypsilanti Lincoln as well. They've got a pretty good record this year. I'm going to Ypsilanti Lincoln. Sorry, guys. I still love you, though, Adrian. You're a big support for us here, so there you go. Um, next up, still high school football. We have the two wins, four losses, Whitmore Lake. Traveling to the two wins, four losses, Madison. I have heard... This is Madison's homecoming week. And uh, Brother Rose has gone with Madison. This game is being played at home. It's homecoming week. Uh, I, I'm going to give it to Madison also. I feel like this is going to be with all the fan support there and uh, being homecoming that they'll pull off the win. Next up, we have Ike School. Four wins, two losses. They are traveling to Chelsea, who has the same exact record. Four wins and two losses. Fortunately, I haven't touched base with Isaac on this one at all. Um, I'm sure he would go with the Cumsy anyway. But uh, Rose believes in Ike School. He's going with the Cumsy. Chelsea has home field advantage. Four wins, two losses. Both teams have four wins and two losses. Hmm. I'm not going to go against the Cumsey this week. <laughs> I'll go with the Cumsey on that one. Next up, we have. Onstead, four wins, two losses, traveling to the zero wins, six losses, Dundee. Wow, Dundee has not won a game at all this season. Zero and six. Rose has went with Onstead, and I think I'm going to go with Onstead too. They're actually... Other than their big loss to uh, Hillsdale last week, they fell apart. Um, haven't been too bad. 
Oh man, I you know, I cannot believe my eyes when it comes to these two schools right here. We have the four wins and two losses. Bad acts. Four wins, two losses. They are traveling to, listen to this, six wins, zero losses, R2-D2. I, I mean, uh, beep, boop, beep, beep, no. Deep, boop, boop, boop. Mm -mm, that's not it either. Nope. E, gotta say this slow. E, P, B, peanut butter? No, no, it's E, P, B, P. There you go. We got Bad Axe taking on E, P, B, P. Bad Axe has four wins, two losses. EPBP has six wins, zero losses. They are undefeated. Rose won against Badass. I can't believe he did that. That's normally his favorite, one of his favorite schools. Uh, so Rose went with EPBP. You know, if he ever lets Badass out of the closet, he would be very unhappy that Rose chose EPBP. I E P B P B B B P has the winning record, has the home field advantage. I can't go against them either. I'm going with E P B P P P P P. Next up, we have Roses School, where he graduated from at Mapstone School as well. Uh, they're doing great this year, guys. They have one win. Five losses. Insert sarcasm here. One win, five losses. They are traveling to the five wins, one loss. Hillsdale! That's right, one of our favorite schools. Shout out to our Hillsdale family and friends over there. At the Hillsdale ISD classroom. Woohoo! Yeah, guys. Five wins, one loss for Hillsdale. And one win and five losses for Blissfield. Rose has chosen Hillsdale. And I've got Hillsdale. Of course I got Hillsdale. We got people in Hillsdale. I'm going Hillsdale. Uh, I forgot my charts again. This next one. Is a three point bonus game. That's right, three points. It's his fingers. It's worth three points. Uh, I might have to start getting hand puppets or something. Is it worth three points, Jim? Yes, yes, it is. It's worth three points. This is a three point bonus game? It really is a three point bonus game. Yay! It's a three point bonus game. I don't know what that was. Call it craziness. Call it late night TV. I, I don't know. Anyway, we have the <laughs> six wins, zero losses, Ida. They are traveling to Hudson, who has five wins and one loss. And this is your three-point bonus game. This is a tough one. Uh, not for Jamie Rose, though. Jamie Rose has chosen Hudson to win this game. I will be getting live updates from my good friend out in Hudson, um, Rich Hollowell. He is our Hudson sideline reporter. He'll be reporting in on this game for us. And he would be very upset with me if I did not choose Hudson. So, I am going with Hudson. Jeez, oh, Pete's. We are moving on to NCAA football action. And this next game is a three-point bonus game. You mean to tell me there's two three-point games back to back? Yes, Han, there is. Oh, who would do something crazy like that? Ah, uh, that would be Jamie Rose. He puts together the charting for us. 
Didn't you do all that? He certainly did. Wow. Yes. So the fair horn asking. Yes, it is. Call it back asleep. Call it insanity. Call it what you want. <laughs> Okay, this next game is our other three-point bonus game of the week. Back-to-back -back three point bonus games this week. College football action. We have the five wins, zero losses, ranked second in the nation, Auburn. They are traveling to the five wins, zero losses, ranked third in the nation, Mississippi State. Rose has chosen. Auburn to win this game because they are ranked second. This is a tough one. This is a tough game right here. Five wins, zero losses, ranked second in the nation. Auburn. Five wins, zero losses, ranked third in the nation. Mississippi State. Auburn or Mississippi State. Rose went with Auburn. Obviously, somebody's got to lose this game this week. Hmm. You know, I don't know if I'm going to call this my upset special because it's not really... It could go either way with this game. Mississippi State has the home field advantage. I am going to go against Rose on this pick. I am going Mississippi State. No. No reason for it other than they have home field advantage, and I think that might, that a lot of crowd noise and everything might contribute to that. All right. Next up, we have the five wins, zero losses. They are also ranked third, Old Miss. And, yes, it's not a typo on Brother Rose's part. I talked with him about it for quite some time, and he said, no, Tim, they really – no, Coach, they really have. They're really ranked third right now with their points as well. So both teams, yes, Mississippi State and Old Miss, are ranked third right now. They are trailing to the five – Wins one loss, ranked 14th in the nation, Texas A&M. Uh, Rose went with Old Miss, and I'm going to go with Old Miss as well because I believe Old Miss is the well, they're ranked higher, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm going with Old Miss. I lost my train of thought on that one. I have no idea where I was going with that. This is why I need a co-anchor with me. All right, uh, next up we have the four wins, zero losses, ranked ninth in the nation, TCU. They are traveling to the five wins and zero losses, ranked fifth in the nation, Baylor. Rose went with Baylor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with Baylor as well. I'm hesitant about this one, but I'm going to go with it. All right, next up we have the four wins, one loss. Ranked eighth in the nation, MSU. They are traveling to the three wins, three losses, Purdue. Really? Uh, Rose has chosen MSU. And I'm going to go MSU also. Next up, we have the four wins, one loss, ranked 12th in the nation, the Oregon Ducks. They are traveling to the four wins, one loss, ranked 18th in the nation, um, UCLA. Rose has chosen Oregon.
both have four and one records. Find these games very challenging. Hmm. I think I'm going to go against Rose on this one. I'm going to go with UCLA. All right, next up, we have uh, four wins, one loss, ranked 13th in the nation, Georgia. They are traveling to the four wins, one loss, ranked 23rd in the nation, Missouri. And Rose is calling this his upset special of the week. He went with Missouri. Right, 23rd. Home, this is where he, you're going to see the home uh, field advantage going on is what I'm thinking he's thinking on this one. Hmm. Four and one, four and one. That's Rose's upset special. I think I'm going to go with Georgia just to be different. I might as well, you know, uh, you know, go down. If I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down with some different picks. All right. The under the lights game this year has the four wins, one loss. Penn, stri Penn, straight. Penn State traveling to the big house. Two wins, four losses. Go blue, Michigan. True blue. This is a true blue, still true blue. We may have bad times. We know that. There's bad times. This has been a bad season so far. But I still bleed blue. I still believe in my team. Jamie Rose still believes in his team. He showed a little bit of hesitance on this one, but he still believes in his team. He's going blue, and I'm going blue as well. Go blue. Michigan alumnus are coming out to support the team this week. We're going to see people on the sideline we haven't seen in years, probably. We're going to see people on the sideline we've seen probably in the last couple of years. But they're coming out. They're going to support the team. It's going to be a great game, hopefully. And hopefully we get back on our winning ways. Go Blue. Go Blue. All right. We have some uh, baseball playoff action. Uh, does anybody even care now that the Tigers are knocked out? Uh, there's a big question going around. Do you plan on watching the uh, playoffs in the World Series now that the Tigers are knocked out? I don't. I'll follow it for you guys to keep you up to date and everything. I'm done with baseball. It's over for me. Tigers lost, so I'm done with it. I'm good with that. So uh, we have the 89 wins, 73 losses, Kansas City Royals. They are traveling to the 96 wins, 66 losses, Baltimore Orioles. And Brother Rose has chosen the team that he has a hard time saying, the Baltimore Oreos. 89.73. Man, these are tough. These are some challenges. Well, I am going to go and look up some stats here is what I'm going to do. Uh, see, use I use the CBS Sports app. Check it out and see what their thoughts are on this because I am a little bit kind of not real sure right now. And let's see, right down here to my games. Mm -hmm.
Well, looks like they're giving the Orioles a little bit of an edge, so uh, that's kind of like my phone a friend. I'm going to go with the Orioles just because I'm not real sure about that one, and I honestly don't care, be truthful. All right. Yes, yes, yes. We've all been waiting for it. It is the return of hockey. We've been doing the preseason thing. Last night was opening night for a lot of teams. Tonight, the Red Wings opened up. Um, and let's see. My uh, hockey reporter, Kate Seeley, has been keeping us up to date on scores on Facebook. Let's see what crazy Kate, if the Red Wings game is over and if we've won yet. Yes, she is pleased to read out. This is okay. We'll, we'll go with the quote from Crazy Kate. Hockey Crazy Kate coming at you this cool fall October night. I am pleased to announce that the boys of the ice have won their season opener. Two to one over the Bruins. Woohoo! Way to go. Yes, hockey is back. It is Detroit time. Let's go, Detroit. It is time. It is time. It is hockey time. All right, so with that being said, uh, they will be playing the Ducks tomorrow night. Or, no, this is Friday night game, so it will be tonight when you guys watch this. Anaheim Ducks travel to the Detroit Red Wings, uh, who have um, one win now. So Rose, of course, went with the mighty Red Wings, and I am going with the Detroit Red Wings. Ah, uh, yes. Go Wings! Next up, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins traveling to the... They have actually one loss already. Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Rose has gone with the Penguins. And who am I to argue against Rose, except for sometime, occasionally, on some of those other picks that I chose earlier. I will go with the Penguins as well. All right. On to some NFL football action. We have the three wins, two losses. It should be four wins, had they not screwed up last week. Detroit Lions, they are traveling to the two wins, three losses, Minnesota Vikings. Rose has got his pick in as the Lions, and I still believe in our Lions. They got a new kicker. They have signed... Um, signed oh, hey, that's not what I want you to do. They have signed a kicker. Yes, another kicker has been signed by the Detroit Lions. He is a former. Let me look it up for you here, real quick. Oh, ho, ho. I know I had it posted down here somewhere. Ah, yes. They have signed kicker Matt Prater. And Matt Prater was released. From the Buffalo Bills, ironically. The team that we just... Uh, all right. No, no. Wait a minute. No, sorry. This is... Um, yes, this is who we signed. Kicker Matt Prater. Um, I was talking to Jamie about this guy. Apparently he was released um, <laughs> by the... Uh, by them because he has... Um, some substance abuse issues. Uh, his substance abuse of choice was alcohol. Uh, a couple of drinking and driving charges under his belt. Thanks, Lions, for signing somebody like that. Hopefully, maybe he's cleaned up. Excuse me. Hopefully, maybe he's cleaned up his act and deserves another chance. Hopefully, he'll get some field goals in for us. Um. All right, enough of that for the moment. Let me get back to the rest of these teams. Anyway, Detroit Lions, three wins, two losses. And the Minnesota Vikings, two wins and three losses. 
Uh, both Rose and I still believe in the Lions. Next up, we have the three wins, two losses, Lawson, two losses, struggling New England Patriots. They are traveling to the three wins, two losses, Buffalo Bills. Rose has said this is the week that he thinks that Tom Brady will get back on track. He is going with the Patriots. Um, three wins, two losses. Three wins, two losses. Been hearing a lot of talk about the Patriots. A lot of things going on there. Ah, screw it. It's a Michigan man. It's Tom Brady for crying out loud. I'm going with the Patriots. All right, our last NFL football game of the week goes to the three wins, two losses, Pittsburgh Steelers. They are traveling to the two wins, two losses, Cleveland Browns. We have any Browns fans in the audience? Any Browns fans? Any Johnny Football fans, man? Johnny Football. No? Okay. Rose has got the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh. Ooh, we never know. Cleveland's at home. Pittsburgh's been struggling as well. You know what? I'm going to make this my upset special of the week. Upset special of the week. Even though I don't like Johnny Football, Johnny Football is not even the starting quarterback. Hoyer still is. So my upset special of the week is the Cleveland Browns over the Pittsburgh Steelers. That is the coach's upset special of the week. All right. NASCAR. Things are winding down with NASCAR. Um, let me see if I can give you a what I know at this time about NASCAR. Um, let's look at the standings as they are right now. All right, our top standings in NASCAR. We have Joey Logano with 3,048 points. That is also Julie Mapstone's favorite driver. We have Kyle Busch, 3,042 points. Wow, that is my driver that I picked this week, one of the Bush brothers. We have C. Edwards. I have no idea who that is. C. Edwards, do we have him on our list? Carl Edwards, he is on our list. He is third. That is 3,029 points. We have Ryan Newman in fourth with 3,039 points. We have Denny Hamlin with 3,037 points. He is in fifth place. We have Kevin Harvick in sixth place with 3,033 points. Uh, we have Matt Kenseth in 7th place with 3,031 points. We have Jeff Gordon in 8th place with 3,031 points. Um, we have Casey Kane in ninth place with 3,023 points. And we have Brad Kalowski in 10th place with 3,009 points. And uh, I'm not going to go through all these, but a couple other guys you guys like. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is in 11th place with 3,006 points. And Kurt Busch is in 15th place with 2,075 points. So there you go for that. Um, our schedule looks like this. The race this weekend.
The race this weekend is Saturday. It is a Saturday race, October the 11th at 7.46 p.m. It is the Bank America 500, if that means anything to you huge racing fans. All right, I'm going to go through and uh, go back to our Awesome reference paper from the uh, Adrian Daily Telegram that talks about our uh, local teams and the teams that I didn't, we don't have scores for this week. We'll see who they are playing this week. We got quite a few of our local teams on here this week, but let's see. Uh, I don't have Addison on here this week. It is four. Oh, that's why their game hasn't even been announced on here yet. Or on this paper. They probably have a game. Jeez, I don't even know. I'll have to figure that out for you guys. Sorry. It says uh, Addison Panthers. Oh, wait. October. Uh, the 10th, that will be. Sorry, that's next week. I don't have a determined team yet. They are at Michigan Center, so they are on the road this week. We have the Maples game. Uh, we have the Blitzfield game. Britton Deerfield, did we have them on here this week? No, we did not. Britton Deerfield will be at will be hosting Whiteford. Whiteford will be coming to Britton Deerfield this week. All right. Um, Clinton, do I have Clinton on here? I do not have Clinton's game on here this week. All right, Clinton will be playing. Ooh. Okay, at Summerfield. Clinton's playing at Summerfield, so they have Summerfield. Okay. Um, Lenaway Christian, we don't have them on there. They're at Pittsburgh this week. Pittsford for them. We have Madison. Okay. Onstead. Yes, we have the Onstead game. Do we have Sand Creek on here? We do not. Sand Creek. I already said we'll be at Britain Deerfield. Wow, we don't have Marenzi on here. All right. So Marenzi has. Whiteford this week. So Whiteford for them. All right. Um, we also need to see. Let's see what else I got on here for you guys. All right. Go with the stats. Go to the frenzy page for some news. All right. Some of the other stuff I was going to tell you on the frenzy page. Oh, we have, um, I was telling you earlier that a bunch of former Michigan players are playing on attending the game this weekend to help the current Michigan lineup. And, uh, I found an article and I thought it was kind of cool at first. Then I read the article. I posted it without even reading it. But it said at one time, John Gruden wanted to come coach at Michigan. Yeah, you know when that was? When he graduated high school. When he graduated high school, he wanted to become the coach for Michigan. I don't know if you guys know John Gruden real well, but I think that was a long time ago. So I don't know. Somebody should ask him if he'd still have a desire to coach at Michigan and how people would feel about that. Um, the Philadelphia Eagles will be wearing all black this week for their – for the first time in franchise history, they've never wore all black uh, uniforms. And it actually looks uh, pretty cool. Let's see if I can get the picture up here. 
I guess I'll just show it to you that way. Screen close up. All black uniforms. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I guess the old Mississippi fans, old Miss fans, uh, got up, uh, got fined. Um, for storming the field, or the school got charged for it, or something. It cost them seventy-five thousand dollars. This is really cool. This is how cool these fans are. They raised the money in four hours to pay for this, so they paid for it themselves. So congratulations to them for doing something cool like that. Uh, oh, this is crazy situation that happened earlier in the week. And I by no means ever defend Michigan State because Michigan State is not my school. Let's make that clear. We know that. I am not a Michigan State fan. But uh, Bo Pelamy from Nebraska accused Michigan State of clapping to disrupt their snap count. Okay, if it's that easy to interrupt your snap count, why wouldn't they? Yeah, it might not be in the best sportsmanship to do that. But there's nothing that says they can't do that. That's crazy. You have to prep for things like that. They're gonna so that I just think that's absolutely ridiculous. Found out earlier this week that Stone Cold Steve Austin is training for and said on his recent podcast that he is training for a comeback. He plans on being wrestling at WrestleMania thirty one. Um, so we'll see. We'll keep you posted on that. There are huge, huge, huge reports going around that uh, Jim Harbaugh is going to be out as 49ers coach. So that opens up all kinds of speculation as to whether he'll be coming here. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that, but I don't even know how I feel about that one. I'm a little, I still have to do my research. I don't know about that yet. Oh, congratulations to uh, one of my favorite coaches, um, um, good old Popovich from uh, Coach Popovich from the San Antonio Spurs. Said has signed a new contract with the team and says he ain't going anywhere anytime soon. That team, man. You know, if I wasn't for the fact that I follow Larry Bird, and that's the main reason I follow Indiana Pacers because Bird runs the organization. I'd have to say that that they these guys, you know, he is one of my favorite coaches, so I would be following them. Uh, all right. Sadly, um, the athletic board, U.S. Swimming Athletic Board, has suspended uh, Phelps for Michael Phelps for six months for the issues he's been having. So. Um, we hope we wish him a speedy recovery. Hope he can get back to where he wants to be to be able to do things. And all right. Another thing I wanted to check out this week. I wanted to see since Ike is now Officially a Toledo Rocket. Let's see who the Rockets are playing this week. All right, 
It is a 3.30 game, and they have – Toledo is playing ISO. So there you go. Hopefully they can get a win. Um, Gosh, I think there was one other thing I wanted to mention. I'll probably remember when I get done shooting here. Um, Something else I was going to tell you guys. Oh, well, what a heck of a way to run a show, huh? Anyway, we'll just end it at that this week. Um, Get out there and watch some football this weekend. Apple Umpkin is also going on in Tecumseh that I'm aware of. Probably there's some Apple Umpkin festivals going on all over the place. Probably something going on out in Hillsdale area, too. But get out there and enjoy some sports this weekend or whatever you like to do. I am the coach. Be blessed, everyone. I will see everybody again on the recap show on Sunday night. Take care.